Hi, and welcome to the Bible Tribe. Word of the Day. I'm Denise Pass with Seeing Deep Ministries, where we see deep in a shallow world and overcome the battles of the mind with the Word of God. Do you cherish the hope we have in Christ? Hope is not hope if we do not actively choose to renew our hope. We're reading today in the book of Acts 23 and 24, and the verse of the day is Acts 24, 15. And I have the same hope in God that they themselves cherish, that there will be a resurrection of both the righteous and the wicked. Word of the day is cherish. It is the Greek word plastekami. It means to look for, to accept, to await. The Theological Dictionary of the New Testament says this is also used of the subject of Christian expectation. This is the resurrection of the dead, which Christians look for with the Pharisees in our verse of the day. Cherish the eternal glory at the return of Christ, Titus 2.13, and the mercy of Christ in the judgment, Jude 21. The Apostle Paul is defending his case before Felix the governor after being accused again. Paul said he was on trial because he believed in the resurrection of the dead. When we consider what it was like For Paul and the disciples, they were being martyred. Of course they cherished the hope we have in the resurrection, right? But how about us? Do we cherish this hope and truth? Paul did so much so that he was unashamed to proclaim it. This life is temporary and our greatest hopes are not for the here and now, but in what is to come. Acts 24, 27 tells us after two years had passed, Felix was succeeded by Portius Festus and wishing to do the Jews a favor, Felix left Paul imprisoned. Then Paul went through needing to testify before Festus, too. When we cherish what we believe in, we are careful to walk faithfully in our relationship with God and ready to defend what we believe so others can also come to cherish the same hope that we have. Let's look at some verses that remind us what not to cherish and what to cherish. Psalm 66, 18 says, If I had cherished iniquity in my heart, the Lord would not have listened. Proverbs 4, 7-8 says, Wisdom is supreme, so get wisdom, and whatever else you get, get understanding. Cherish her, and she will exalt you. If you embrace her, she will honor you. Psalm 69, 35-36 says, For God will deliver Zion and will rebuild the cities of Judah so they may live there and possess them. The descendants of his servants will inherit it, and those who cherish his name will live there. Cherish the hope we have in Christ. Cherish your Savior. Cherish those God has given you in your life. Cherish wisdom and truth. This world can cause us to be apathetic and to lose our passion, but God's people are to care for others and care about the gracious truth we are able to see and understand. Go with God and His precious word, friends. Join us tomorrow in the book of Second John.